Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. And today I've got a new tutorial for you. Uh, because of the popularity of our access uh, calendar scheduling database and enhanced access uh, scheduling database, we have now created an Excel calendar scheduling database. You can get that from www.microsoftexcelexperts.com. Click here on the left side on our database templates. You have a little bit of information here. You can always chat with us uh, live. Uh, we can uh, answer any questions you have. There's also a link here to the Access Calendar Scheduling Database. We've got a couple of screenshots that shows you the product in use. And then down here at the bottom, we even have a demo version, and that's what we're going to look at today. So I'm going to right-click and select Save Link As. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. And we're done with the browser for now, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And here on our desktop, we've got a zip file containing the Excel file. If you don't know how to work with uh, zip files, I'll put a link to a video discussing that in the description below. Otherwise, just right click and extract all. It's going to extract it to our desktop and show us the files. So here is the extracted files. We're going to go ahead and double click on the Excel calendar demo. And when you first open it up, you are going to get a couple of uh, safety options here. We're going to go ahead and allow uh, content and enable content. And you'll get a pop-up here that has various ways that you can contact us if you have questions or you'd like to purchase this product or you'd like us to further develop this product for you. Uh, feel free to contact us through our website, email, we're on Skype. We do have the online chat available and we also have a contact us form. You can also hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We also have a Google Plus account as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep updated with the newest videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're starting out here in day view, and we can see that it's Monday. It's uh, 928 of 13. That's last month. So I'm going to come over here, and we've got next and previous buttons that will take us through the days. I'm going to go ahead and click on week view, and now you can see we can see an entire week at a time. We can also advance per week by using the next and previous buttons. We also have a month view as well, so if you wanted to just view it via month, there's the 8th, and here we go to September, and here's October. We've also got the ability in here to search for events that have been entered into the system. This is the demo version, so it's empty. Um, you can test that out by entering a couple of events. You'll see you can search by subject, location, start time, end time, uh, or the notes. Um, we've also got uh, an ability for you to do some setup options here. You can select the first day of the week, so if you wanted to change that to Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, you could do that. You can also show a full week, or you can just show the work week if you like. Um, and then the day view can be broken up into 15-minute intervals, uh, uh, half an hour, or every hour. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that on 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now let's try entering an event. I'm going to go to month view and I'm going to add a new one. And my birthday actually happens to be this month, so we'll put Brian's birthday. And it will be at my house. And if we click here, we get a nice little calendar that we can pick from. And my birthday is on the 20th, so we'll go ahead and select that. It's going to end on the 20th as well. It's an all-day event. You do have the ability to set reoccurring. I'm not going to do that for this event. Um, we also have a nice ability here to select a color specific for that event. Since it's October, I'm going to select an orange color. And then we can save that event. And now you'll see here on the 20th, we have listed uh, an event, which we can double click on. We can update it. We can delete the event or we can change the color, it's uh, entirely up to us. So if you found this useful, please subscribe, give us a like, comment below. Uh, you can get a demo version or additional support through any of our websites. Feel free to contact us, as I said, through, through any of the ways that I have mentioned. I'll also put a couple of links down below to how to deal with zip files and uh, a link directly to the demo page for this product. Thank you and have a great day.